Okay, in the last video, we learned why our body stores fat and what are the ways to burn off those excess fat. Link to the previous video is up here. In this video, we will understand when you burn off those excess fat, where does it go? I mean, how does fat leave the body? Let's find out. Hey, wait a minute. You just explained on the previous video that stored fat is used for energy. Well, yes, that is true. We spoke about energy last time. But in this video, we will talk about its mass. Yes, fat also has mass. When you lose fat, you lose weight. This weight of fat, when used for energy, doesn't just vanish. There is some chemistry happening behind it. And you will be amazed to know it. Our body does a lot of chemical reactions throughout the day. That is why we refer our inner body feelings as chemistry. You truly make me the happiest person on earth. <laughs> <clears throat> Burning fat also involves a chemical reaction. Now to keep things simple, I won't be explaining the entire chemical reactions happening while burning fat. It is super complicated. For now, just refer to this image. Don't worry, I'll make this easy for you. In chemistry, there is something called as the law of conservation of mass. This simply states that during a chemical reaction, mass can neither be created nor destroyed. It is converted from one form to another. The mass of the products in a chemical reaction must be equal to the mass of the reactants. That is why we always write balanced chemical equations, which means number of atoms before reaction should always be equal to the number of atoms after the reaction. Now, every fat molecule has mass. When fat is burned, this mass doesn't just vanish. As per the law of conservation of mass, it is converted into other form, which also has the equal amount of mass as that of fat before burning. Wait, I'll show you. See this? It's the average human fat molecule. It's made up of three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. It contains 55 carbon atoms, 104 hydrogen atoms, and 6 oxygen atoms. This is the chemical formula of an average human fat molecule. Now, the oxygen you inhale reacts with the fat molecule to break down the fat and release its energy. To lose just one of this fat molecule, you have to inhale 78 molecules of oxygen. As the chemical process occurs, you convert this fat molecule into 55 molecules of carbon dioxide and 52 molecules of water. So after this reaction, the atoms just didn't vanish, but they have changed into something new. Okay, I think I'm getting it now. So if we calculate the number of atoms on both sides, we can see 55 carbon atoms, 104 hydrogen atoms, and 162 oxygen atoms. Hence, mass is conserved and the law is not broken. So that's the chemical process that burns fat and releases energy in your body. And talking about the mass, it is converted into carbon dioxide and water. Yes, when you burn fat, that piece of jelly and jiggly fat leaves your body as carbon dioxide and water. You literally breathe out your fat. The heavier you breathe, the more fat you will lose. Oh, really? Yes, this is true. And wait, nope, you cannot just sit there and do heavy breathing to lose fat. That's called hyperventilating. And this can result in dizziness and loss of consciousness. Oh no! Sorry, you have to actually move your body in a way that naturally creates the huffing and puffing. Yes, you cannot cheat the way you are designed. Okay, let's now understand the mass distribution. If your body has 10 kg of fat, to burn it, you will need to inhale 29 kg of oxygen. Then the chemical reaction happens. After that, 8.4 kg of carbon dioxide is produced, which you exhale, and 1.6 kg of water is produced, which comes out of your body as sweat, urine, and even tears. This means that 84% of fat leaves your body as carbon dioxide, and only 16% of fat leaves in the form of water. Oh my god! 
So now you finally understood that when you lose fat, it goes out of your body as carbon dioxide and water. Hit like if you are amazed and share it with others. You know, if you just breathe in the right way, then burning fat will be a lot easier and faster for you. So do you want to know the right way of breathing? Actually, it's a separate topic and I would need to make another video about that. Let me know in the comments if you want me to. I will surely make it. Stay subscribed to learn new stuff and never miss a new video. Remember, you are important. Thank you.